if you look at Janet, she doesn't even have a hand and she's going into sewing. I saw her sew with one hand, with nothing on the other end. Uh, we wondered how she got through school because she has no hearing on one side. The ears have got burned off with the face. This is a very rare case. I have not seen anybody in this situation that has come through. I've seen situations like this, but I've never seen them uh, follow it up to see the success. If you want to make this pocket, you first of all, you cut the, the small fabric. One is bigger than the other. Disability is not inability. Even my friends, sometimes they are coming to me asking me, why and what, what, the way you are making these things? Because with us, we have two hands. We are just normal, but we can't do this thing. She is actually taking a program in interior design that includes sewing as part of this program. So we brought her some sewing machines and her goal is that in six months she will be able to start a business. And she said she is going to sew me a shirt as soon as she gets out of school. I'm surprising them because they didn't believe that I can do that, that course. she's like any other person so everybody has accepted her and she's okay but at the beginning there was a little challenge but we have managed to overcome it. When we found her she was nine years old and they had really hadn't done a whole lot at that time so when I came home I looked at the books and there was this unspent money for disabled children so that funded over 13 surgeries that she has gone through and now her her head has been released from the shoulder and her eye has been replaced. It was very painful. The first one they done is just for the neck first, another one the ear, then another one is just through the ribs inside. Yeah, I'm very proud of the sister because from the time when she was burnt, we were, everybody was, we were sure that the lady was going to die. But now, the person where the lady is, we are now very happy. Every day I do like to sing. I praise my Lord that I love for my Lord, for my Lord. I think uh, Janet, I think, was a turning point for many people in a better world, including myself, because of her determination, her faith that she could actually become a person to, of use to the society was incredibly uh, motivational and inspirational to us. So we put her into high school, she had a desire to go. She could have easily said, look at myself, look at my body, there's nothing I can do. But she wanted to go to high school. After she finished grade eight, she passed the exam. She went to a special high school for disabled children. We followed up with her right through to grade 12. She passed grade 12 uh, among all the humiliation she might have had to face. And then she said, I want to go further on. I want to go to vocational training school. She applied and she moved from her uh, close to her home and is living by herself in the dormitory of the school. In my future, I just want to continue with my business even if I got the shop where I will open my business to continue. Even after that, I can go higher than that one to, to higher education. No matter what challenges people feel in life, determination and faith and belief in yourself will actually be able to take you further than anything else. Uh, definitely she's going to succeed because if I can see the samples, everything she's doing is very much successful. This one is called Tishi Servient Holder. When, when if you have the servient, you can take and put the mirror to Nini on the table when people are eating. Because I can just do anything. What people can do, I can do.